Kalalal, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS, salutations to the Akim out here pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. This is Psalm 34 and verse 1. I will bless the Lord Yahweh at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him, and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth about them that fear him, and delivereth them. O taste, and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. O oh, fear the Lord, ye saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Come, ye children, hearken unto me, I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life, and loveth many days, that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil, and do good, seek peace, and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit, contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth him out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Right? The reason I read this psalm was, you know, I will, as, as with many other psalms, all of the psalms, it's a beautiful prayer, you know. And for me personally, you know, it's, it's a spiritual booster, right? You know, just a reminder to the Akim that the Lord is our hiding place, you know, in this treacherous kingdom. You know, the Lord is our go-to whenever we're going through afflictions, whenever we're going through low points. You know, the Lord will hear. You know, it's up to you to humble yourself and cry unto the Lord. The scripture said that the righteous cry and the Lord heareth them, yo. My favorite verse is verse 6. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. Can we have to believe that the Lord hears us, yo? Through 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 the grace of His Son Yahweh Shai, you know, we have a me we have a mediator, right? We have somebody who intercedes for us with the heavenly Father, yo, so that our prayers are heard, right? And for those things that we know, that we do not know, what we ought to pray for. The Holy Spirit maketh intercession for us, right? The Lord loves his elect, yo. We have to be confident. We have to be, you know, confident that we are a part of that number, yo. If so be that the Lord wills it, right? We have to do the work. We have to endure, right? On to the end. As the scripture had said, blessed is the one that in, um, that endure it to the end, or the same shall be saved, roughly paraphrase it. So this thing is about doing the work, first of all, and enduring unto the end. Yo. It's not about just doing the work and stopping. We have to endure unto the end, and the Lord is the one who will preserve us unto that end. Yo. So the Akim, forget not to pray. Right? Pray with... The scripture said, pray without ceasing, yo. Let me just um, bring out just one more scripture, just for edification's sake. This is Luke 18, verse 1. And he spake this parable unto them this day, that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Right? We should always pray, yo. Every time you feel down in the spirit, even when you don't feel down in the spirit, yo. You know, every time you get a chance, you know, pray unto the Lord. You know, ask him. To give you faith, ask him to send wisdom, ask him to send temperance, you know, ask him to strengthen you, yo. 
ask him to make you a vessel that is fit for the master's use yo. remind him of the promises that he has made unto us the children of israel yo. remind him of the promise that our enemies will fall beneath our feet yo. the scripture says that yo that we should remind him yo this very scripture says that right let me read on down verse 2 there was a city there was in a judge a city which feared not yahweh neither regarded man and there was a widow in that city and she came unto him saying avenge me of mine adversary and he would not for a while but afterward he said within himself though i fear not yahweh nor regard man yet because this widow troubleth me i will avenge her least by her continual coming she weary me and the lord said hear what the unjust judge saith and shall not yahweh avenge his own elect which cry unto him day and night though he bear long with them i tell you that he will avenge them speedily nevertheless when the son of man cometh shall he find faith on the earth All right so if this unjust judge right if this unjust judge gave in to the request of this widow just because you know she continually asked him what saith the lord yo what will the lord do who is just who is a just power if we cry unto him day and night yo and reminding of the promises yo asking asking him to deliver us from this present kingdom and to make an end of this kingdom yo and to deliver us into the righteous kingdom so that we may all be loved by him yo so that we may all right walk uprightly before him because real that's really the root of the promise yo that's really the root of salvation for us to be all righteous for us to be all like yahweh shai and be pleasing in his sight yo what man is it in the truth of James right now, you know, the camp of James that does not desire the Lord Yahweh to say unto you, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. For Yahweh shall to embrace you in his bosom, seeing, and say, Come, friend, inherit the kingdom which is prepared for you in righteousness. That's what we're striving for, yo. That's what we're striving for. What are you striving for? What are you in the truth for? What are you fighting for? Yo? Why are you going out there on the highways? Why are you doing these sideshows? What's the end all be all for you? Right? Count the cost, yo. The scripture tell you, count the cost. Why are you going to battle? Because we're, we're in a war, yo. We're in a spiritual war. Why are you going to war, yo? What's the end all be all for you? Right? You know, so... With that, I hope this lesson was edifying and provided some exhortation to the Akim, you know, uplifted the spirit, you know. All praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to our apostles, and salutations to the hopeful leg, pushing his word in sincerity, in all honesty. Shalom.